What does it take to become the fastest man in the racing world? To have a lifelong dream to drive a car more than 500 miles an hour? For the answer, one turns to the Vesco brothers from San Diego, California. To them, racing was a family legacy that was in their blood at a very early age. I've been out here since I was a little kid in, in 53 with my dad. He started in 1933 and the first race on the Bonneville Salt Flats was in 1949. They've been racing out here ever since. My dad was here at the first event. For more than 60 years, Team Vesco has been racing at the Bonneville Salt Flats, improving their equipment and their techniques to continue gaining speed. The car behind us, the 444 car, my dad built that in 1957, so that's 54 years old this year. It's, it's an antique car, but we hold uh, four records with it. Team Vesco slowly modified and improved the 444 car over the years, breaking records one by one until they decided it was time to upgrade the car itself. So in 1997, Team Vesco unveiled the Turbinator. Uh, this car is really unique because of the fact it's powered by a turbine shaft engine. It's got 3,750 horsepower and it powers all four wheels. So I call this my uh, the world's fastest off-highway vehicle. Once you're in here, there's not much you can do other than step on the gas or, or put the parachute out. That's the only two uh, options you have. With brother Don Vesco behind the wheel of the Turbinator, Team Vesco was able to break the land speed record. This was in 2001 at the Bonneville Salt Flats with a record speed of 459 miles an hour. It was the fastest speed ever for a wheel-driven car, but that was not enough. Dad, our, our goal is actually 500, what, we, uh, what we're predicting for a, a speed. For the Vesco brothers, it was always about reaching the 500 mile an hour mark. It was a childhood dream. It was the team's goal. But shortly after Don set the record at 459 miles an hour, his health started to decline. Team Vesco would suffer a huge setback to achieving their goals in 2002 when Don passed away, barely a year after his record run. We wanted to go 500 forever. My brother didn't make it, but the team decided to get back together and make his dream come true. And Don's loss made the rest of the team more determined to regroup and see the team reach that goal and to reach it first. Uh, every time you go back and you, you know, you try to perfect things even better and it's kind of a constant learning curve because you're going faster than anybody's ever gone before. So uh, you're into a, uh, you know, a new level every time. With meticulous notes from Don's previous record run, they began to reshape the Turbinator. They added a couple of feet here and an inch or two there, and they created new angles. This new body is all carbon fiber. It's an extremely strong composite material like they use in stealth fighters and all that stuff. It's extremely light. It's, it ends up being about 40% uh, percent lighter than fiberglass, and it's about twice or maybe three times stronger. By the time they were done, Turbinator was six feet longer and a whole lot better. Team Vesco had overcome the aerodynamic challenges hindering the original Turbinator from reaching its goal. With Don's lifelong friend Dave Spangler at the wheel as his proxy, Dave continued to drive Team Vesco ever forward with the same passion and precision that Don brought to the cockpit. Your main goal is to be sure that you're ahead of the car all the time. You don't want to get behind the car because at speed you're going 700 feet per second. So if you're just a little bit behind it, uh, you're a passenger, you're no longer a driver. So that's your, your main goal is to be paying really close attention to what the car is trying to do and responding to that. With newfound inspiration to make Don's dream come true, Team Vesco put the Turbinator back out on the salt with the sights set on crossing the 500 mile an hour barrier once and for all. This team is uh, a complete volunteer group. Uh, some of them have been with us since the early 80s and they've been coming out here on their own vacation time uh, and that's hard for them to get off. With more than 21 years of work on the Turbinator, a lot of innovation, a little bit of luck, and thousands of hours from dozens of dedicated volunteers, Team Vesco was able to symbolically push Don across the 500 mile an hour mark. Well, if you notice, 
Don was the first to 500. He's on the nose of the car. The driver was just getting him there. That made the dreams of the Vesco boys come true some 60 years later. Don would be doing a high five. I'm Terry Wood. Along the way, somewhere at the Bonneville Salt Flats, with At Your Leisure. Our Along the Way segment is brought to you each week by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That is a really cool place. Doesn't matter if you got an adventure bike, a dirt bike, an ATV, a side-by-side, -side, or a street bike. They got all kinds of cool stuff for you. Yeah, check them out online. They're awesome. We'll be right back with more of our adventure out here at the Great Salt Lake Marina winter camping right after this commercial break.